Hello all, and welcome back to High Priest Reacts to Milo Pony Frontier's Magic, Season 7, Episode 8. Hard to say anything. No idea what this one's about. Potentially just another one of the Crusaders, given... Bloom. Uh... Oh yeah, I think I remember seeing an, adver an image of the adult Crusaders alongside the adult Twilight now. Well, not adult Twilight, the Celestia style Twilight. The horse sized Twilight. Uh, one of the things that I was a little worried about is what would it be when I saw the season was series was finally over and that it was coming to an end? Because what's going to become of all the pony tubers? I know some of them are having trouble because of the Kappa. Or more accurately, YouTube not listening to the FCC about what to do about COPPA. So, uh, really, just different wrong things than they were doing before. Uh, <clears throat> Dr. Wolf. But, uh, it, I've seen at least some of the ones I was following are still doing other things. And there's still going to be other pony stuff they can at least comment on occasionally. So it's good to see they'll have still be going somewhere. Because yeah, I know at least some, oh, quite a few of them built actually managed to build careers out of this stuff, and I'm like, I hope they do well or keep going. I mean, I know Brawny seems to be doing something on a weekly basis, so it's good good for him. Uh, right. Anyways, uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that in regards to the community and such. Do we have another member of of uh, ponies people will ship with constantly ship with Big Mac? I mean, obviously, there's Big Mac generally, yeah, Big Mac, any of the main six. And ew, for the Applejack people, ew. But you know they exist. Uh, I could have sworn there was another uh, character that people ship him with, but aside from Charlie, but I can't remember, so. <laughs> How do you act like apple? Oh, well, dorks. You're dorks for the earlier thing. <laughs> well, I guess that's that. Yeah, yeah, those were lots of apple eyes and not, you know, flirty eyes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Super, super flirty. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, it was one of Pinky's sisters. Oh, yeah, he really likes her apples, all right. Especially the big red ones. Go away, beaver pony. Oh my god! Those are the sisters from Beauty and the Beast! Get the ones who possibly find them a guest on! No, bad. Yeah, yeah, that's the straight up them. Uh, I mean, on one hand, Beaver Pony does stole your thunder, but you kind of manufactured it, so it's not real anyways. Uh, no, 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 that's a no, no. 
I mean, it could be sweet when you're already in a relationship and things are established. No, 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 no. I feel like you pray are getting way more invested in this than you should. I mean, Big Mac can't sing. See, now this is actually a legitimate thing. Of course, Beaver Pony actually has a song. Get that. No, cut that shit. Cut it. Cut that shit. Yeah, she's not happy with this. A toy! I mean, for me, it was just so I could say, I listen to these idiots. I mean, it's not like she was covering up the kitty mark. How are you still? I spent way too much time on parts of the internet that I shouldn't. If, uh, I immediately get sidetracked by one of those pie names. Might also do with the content of the episode itself. Well, I now know there's gonna be a lot of disappointing shippers. As there is everywhere. I'm, hey, so I don't censor myself here. I'm not apologizing for that. <laughs> where my mind went there. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> uh, right. It was an entertaining episode. Even if this should have been fairly obvious, but I, no, I don't know. Everyone gets that stuff. It's not gonna work on everybody. I mean, some people like it. And, you know, uh, hold on. Give me a, just a half second. Like, I guarantee you, in that, yep, there they are. They don't look exactly the same, obviously, but, I, okay, so obviously they don't aren't all identi identical fangirls, like, uh, originally. And I'm just going to take a quick... Hold on. Things aren't doing what they're supposed to. Back in the episode to compare them, but at least one of them is supposed to look just like... Okay. I am actually straight up comparing them. And I'm pretty sure only one of them looks just like it, but they might be in the colors, but I might be wrong. Uh. Just give me a moment. Yeah, this is a... God dang it. Okay, so clearly not cooperating. Yeah, this was a funny episode. And, uh... Not what I was... Not what I was expecting at all.
when I started the episode, I, I actually started to think, oh, wait, maybe Big Neck. Hard to say. He doesn't talk a lot. And... Yeah. But it was... You know, fairly amusing. Especially when, uh... Her help, trying to help Big Mac with the song and covers his eyes up and whoops. And she, like... Like, what? Well, look at your eyes and does... Like, that was funny, but also cringe-tastic. And I'm just like, ow? Why would you... Oof. Just, oof. This song was filled with, oof. And while it was actually, you know, entertaining because of that, I'm like, oof. Just, you could see her becoming increasingly, increasingly pissed. Okay, so they're not in the coloration of, uh, the girls, but that's... But they look, uh, at least, one of them is straight up just her, one of the girls. Maybe the other two are meant to reference other fangirl characters. But the group of them are acting just like Gaston's fangirls from Beauty and the Beast. That was what I was getting from that. And it was hilarious. But, uh, yeah, I've, uh, gonna have this stuff soon. Uh, that was, like, a good solid episode. I was not expecting that. That was, uh, uh very enjoyable. <laughs> uh, I'm just imagining what other, uh, what the other brony tubers are gonna say. Uh, I'm not really a brony tuber. I do this, but what the brony tubers are gonna say in reaction to this episode. Cause that's a lot of fun for me, interacting with the other, that's far why I like the, the thing, interacting with the fandom. I, the less, uh, the more okay parts of the fandom, at least. But isn't that the same everywhere? Just, uh. Like, I'm curious what nicknames they'll call them. I'm getting Beaver Pony vibe, Beaver vibes in this pony. But it might be some other famous, uh, Hot guy that it's supposed to represent. And I'm curious if someone that did a remix to make that song sa sound better, you know, in sync with the, you know, so that instead of switching genres. It's not expecting a country song, though. But yeah, Nan, you, you could see, she's like, at first, she's a little doubtful, but she's finding a little bit of it sweet enough that she's alright with it. But, yeah. And, anything else? Uh, yeah, the Swooners are pretty much hilarious, especially with the Sprite Valley Girl accent. Uh, and yeah. Yeah, the title gives it away what is one of those that doesn't give it away, but once you n realize what's happening, it's like, oh, that should have been obvious from the get go. You know, it's a Mac centric, because Mac. And, uh, you know, the whole guy has trouble talking to the girl thing. Or vice versa. Or either or. Or even in between. You get my point. It's a classic trope. But I just didn't even... And yeah. Oh, so many shippers are going to be pissed. Because here's a character that might have existed before, but wasn't even on their radar. And now... Bam! Big Mac X Ship Sugar Man. Uh, but no real big plot stuff this episode. 
I'm not, I'm not sure where, honestly, I'm not really sure where the season is going. <laughs> there were, uh, before this, there were big plots, but uh, even the, rede- the redemption of, plot of Starlight, like, look, I actually like Starlight, but I, I will repeat that I think the writers have flubbed what they were trying to do with that, because their own inability to understand the, the meaning of right and wrong. <laughs> I will repeat, mind rape, bad. Really, 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 really bad. Don't just let a character get off for do- when they do it, even if it's a relapse. Like, what happened with Trixie is somewhat uh, was was okay because that wasn't completely her fault. She didn't deliberately mind control those ponies. That was her restraining herself. But, and then there was that, just the clusterfuck that was the ending for that season. Ugh. I know stuff was supposed to come back, but I just don't really know where this is going. And I'm not even, how many the episodes are? And uh, I definitely saw a royal problem there, which is the one I know of, which involves the, uh, uh, what I believe is the episode where, uh, well, if you're watching along and haven't seen ahead, I didn't even think about that. My videos until this one, uh, probably not the best because I talk about things I've seen that spoil me to give people fair warning, but, uh, it's, the, I think, maybe sure that's the one where Celestia goes nightmare. Anyways, uh, yeah, I, I think I'm done. Admittedly, I haven't had to get much talk around this episode. Uh, I'm pretty signing out, and I will see you on the next